Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people cannot afford freeze-dried meats or proteins and cannot afford to have their own freeze dryer. And some of them, I would say a lot, don't want to do their own pressure canning for whatever reason. They may be afraid to do it. They may think that they may not do it in a way that's safe in the long term. And therefore, they have pretty much one choice or two choices, really. They can either purchase freeze-dried meats for long term or they can purchase canned meats. So what I did here for this video is I went to Costco and I picked up one of each of the canned proteins that they had with the exception of oysters because I don't really want to eat oysters. You know, it's not my thing. I can eat them, but it's just not my thing. And I actually grabbed a few of mine from my stockpile that are well past their best buy date. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to open each of these up so you can see what they look like. And then I'm going to give it a quick taste test and just give you a description of what it tastes like to me. That way, those of you that want to store proteins or meats for long term, you're not going to be afraid that it's going to go bad the day after the best buy date. So first, let me show you here what I picked up. I like sardines. I don't like them for every single day. I know that they're good for you. But these ones here come in 100% olive oil. And I really like that. I also have the uh, Costco or Kirkland brand chicken. And this one is actually past its best buy date. The best buy date for this, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. But it's August 14th of last year, of 2022. So it's well past the best buy date by roughly six months or so. We have their albacore tuna, which I believe is also past the best buy date. Let's see. October 4th of 2022 is the best buy date for the tuna. And I can tell you right now that these are going to be good because I've eaten meats that are canned that are way past their best buy date. We have their roast beef, which is actually a very good product with a best buy date of, I believe there it says October of 2021. We have the best meat that's not a meat in the world, Spam. And this one is a little bit older compared to the other ones. This one best buy day was July of 2018. And I guarantee you right now that this is going to be good and tasty as well. And that is if you like Spam. This is obviously not for the angry prepper. This is a new tuna that I've never seen them sell before. However, I really like the idea of tuna in extra virgin olive oil. I've never had this before, so I'll be having it for the first time. And this is a new package, so it should have a pretty good Best Buy date. The Best Buy date on this is September 14th of 2025, and I just purchased this not too long ago. Another one of their popular meats is the pulled pork. This one is an older one as well with a Best Buy date of February 11th of 2018. So this thing right here is already five years past the Best Buy date. This one here is one of their pricier proteins, and it's pink salmon. And this one has a Best Buy date, great Best Buy date of 2026. This here is wild yellowfin tuna. And this is actually very good quality. I've had this before, and I believe I just picked this one up. So this one does have a Best Buy date of November 2025. And those are all of the proteins that they had when I went to the Costco here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Now, the Costco where you live may differ as to what they carry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, open all of these up. I'm going to put them on a bowl so you can take a look at them. I'm going to give them a quick taste test and just give you an account as to what they taste like, at least to me. That way you're not afraid of putting these away, especially the ones that are past your best buy date. Now, this is what they all look like opened up. Here's your beef, your pulled pork, your chicken. This right here is your pink salmon wild yellowfin tuna, albacore tuna. This looks actually very tasty. Here's your sardines packed in olive oil. And then here's your yellowfin tuna that's packed in olive oil as well. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot leave the spam out of it. Our first one is the chicken, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do the meats first and the fish last. Because that way my palate won't get messed up by the fish when trying the meats. 
But this is our chicken, and like I said, the best buy date on this is August 14th of 2022. And as you can see, it looks just fine. Let me give it a sniff, and it smells just fine. No off smell or anything like that. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of this. Actually, it looks pretty good. Let me give you a close-up as to what the piece of meat looks by itself. There you go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's really tasty. Let me tell you what. I haven't had this Kirkland brand chicken in a while, even though I have a whole bunch of it because I've canned a lot of my own. But that is a winner. Very tasty indeed. You know what it tastes like, ladies and gentlemen? It tastes like chicken. And the texture of it is kind of like that chicken that you find in chicken noodle soup. So, really good. And I'm pretty confident that it will be good for a long time past uh, today. You know, it'll be good for a long time. So now let's go ahead and try the pork. Here's the pork. I don't want to tilt it over because I don't want it to make a mess. Now the best buy date on the pork, I'm not sure if you can see that, is 11-02-2018. So I'm guessing that that is 11 February 2018 or it could be November 2nd of 2018. But I'm going to call it just about five years, if not a little over five years, past the best buy date. Let me go ahead and give it a sniff. That's what it looks like. It smells pretty bland, to tell you the truth. Let me go ahead and uh, pick a piece here and show it to you close up. And let's give it a taste test. And ladies and gentlemen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. But I want to show you a little trick that I use whenever I eat pork. I only do this with pork or with fish. This little true lemon lime. You can use lemon as well, but I like lime better. You just take a little bit of this, not a lot, not the whole packet, unless you want to, and just sprinkle a little bit of it, like if you were salting it, right? And that little bit of lime brings the flavor right out. Let's see. If you have not tried that, ladies and gentlemen, putting a little bit of lime or that lime powder on your pork or on your fish, it is delicious. Now, the next one that we're going to try is the beef. And I'm sure this one's going to be good as well. I've had this before, and it's a good product. The best buy date is, I believe here it says October of 2021. October 23rd, I believe, 2021. So it's at least what, a little over a year over, about a year and a half or so, past its best buy date. And you can see that this brings pretty big chunks of meat. This is what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty good. And the texture of all of these canned meats, with the exception of the Spam, of course, like I said, it's almost the texture that you get if you've processed your own beef before, like pressure canned, in the raw pack method, is that same texture, or the texture that you would find like in a beef stew that you get in a can. But here's what it looks like. It looks pretty tasty. And it is very tasty as well. One of the things that I like about beef in comparison to like chicken or the pork is that it's got such a tougher chew, meaning that you have to chew it more in order to swallow it, which kind of like satisfies you more. Maybe that's one of the reasons why people like beef over other meats. So you really have to chew it more, so it probably satisfies you more when you're eating this because you're kind of like getting more time out of it, right? But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this at all. Now let's do the spam. And there's our spam. And our spam, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see these numbers. July of 2018 is the best buy date. And I just smell the can and it smells just fine. I really enjoy spam, either fried or I can eat it just like this. And I do have a spam slicer that one of you all sent me probably a year or two or three ago. But we're just going to cut it really quick. That's what it looks like. It looks just fine. It looks like what spam is supposed to look like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, whoever came up with Spam, God bless them. You either love it or you hate it. And this is one of my favorites. All right, so I'm all out of bowls. So let's go ahead and start with our albacore tuna. And like I said, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. But we'll find out here in a second. And tuna is another one of those things that you can put a little bit of lime. And it also helps that flavor come right out but you can see right here that there's really nothing wrong with it no discoloration or anything like that now ladies and gentlemen this 
in my opinion, is a very high quality tuna. Right? This albacore tuna, it doesn't leave behind a fishy taste in your mouth. It's just a good high quality tuna. Let's go ahead and taste. Let me see. This is in water or is this? Yep, this is in water. I'm trying to save the ones that are in oil last. But this here is pink salmon. This is what the pink salmon looks like. And it tastes just fine. Now, for those of you that don't think there's a difference between the taste of salmon and tuna, it does have a different flavor profile. The salmon, in my opinion, tastes a little bit sweeter, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try to put a little bit of this lime on there to see what it does to it. I'll let you all know what it tastes like. I know it's going to make it better, but let's see. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, that is definitely a winner. Just try it once and you'll find yourself ordering a pack of 500 like I did from Amazon. Uh, you get 500 of these. I think when I bought these was several months ago. It was like $20 for 500 Great deal in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and start trying the ones that have oil in them, olive oil. This is yellowfin tuna and olive oil. And this actually looks very tasty. And no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not eating all of these cans of protein for dinner tonight. I'll probably end up saving some of the fish for Pebbles and Lucy and some of the meats for the dogs. But I'm definitely going to eat the beef. Well, I'll probably eat the beef, the chicken, the spam, just not on one day. Here is your yellowfin tuna and olive oil. And I've never tasted this. So I'm pretty excited about it. Well, I'll tell you what. I am going to go get more of these. That is delicious. There is no fishy taste whatsoever in this. This is really, really good. I bet you that if I put a little bit of that lime on this, it would be awesome. But just by itself, just out of the can, with no preparation, this is really good. Wow. This is definitely a winner. Delicious. Let's try our wild yellowfin tuna. And for some reason, this one looks a little bit processed, but it's not. It's just packed in there really good. Now, so far, I have to say that I am extremely satisfied with all of the fish that I've had from Costco Selection. This was delicious as well. This is really good. I don't know if I like this one or this one better. They're, they both have a different flavor profile, but let me tell you one thing. Even after trying one, two, three, four types of different fish, I don't have a fishy taste in my mouth. That, to me, says that this is quality product. And no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not being sponsored by Costco or any of these brands. Now, the piece of resistance are sardines in olive oil. And the only ones in my family that will eat sardines is myself and Victor. But these look like they're really high quality. Let's, let's see if we can get a whole one out. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to put the whole thing in my mouth. Even with the backbone and everything. If you're afraid of sardines, give these a try. Very high quality. And guess what? There was no backbone in it. They must have taken the backbones out. Because I didn't uh, feel a crunch or anything like that. Very, very high quality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you get something out of this. Every I, I can't say that I have one complaint about any of these proteins that Costco offers. And again, as I stated previously... These things will last a very long time past the best buy date as long as you store it in a temperature controlled room where you're not getting any sunlight, where the temperature is not fluctuating, uh, increasing or decreasing at a very fast rate, and where you keep a temperature that's pretty stable throughout the year. In my pantry, usually during the winter time, it gets down to about as low as 55, 53. And in the summertime, it gets to about 68 during the two weeks or so of 
warm weather that we have here in Alaska. And if I see it getting above 68, I have no problem with sticking an air conditioner in there to make sure that the foods that I have put away for long-term storage don't spoil or that they last as long as they can possibly last in that storage room. Because this is what I'm going to depend on is things like this, of course, along with other preps that I've put away. But this is mainly for those of you that want to know how these meats taste before you purchase them and to also tell you that they will last a good while past the expiration date, ah, past the best buy date. That way you're not afraid to give them a try, even if they're a day or two past the best buy date. Having said that, I hope you got something out of this. Now I have to decide which one of these cans of meats I'm going to eat. That spam is looking pretty good right now. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. God bless every one of you. Thank you very much for your support. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper, and I am out.